Let's hear a little bit from Kirk Cousins talking about the big win in his second game and first victory as quarterback of the Atlanta Falcons. Just proud of the way we played, proud of the way we found a way to win, and uh, we can build on that. And I think it'll build some character and some resolve in our group. And um, uh, really looking forward to uh, you know building on that up ahead because we've got a short week against a really good opponent now, which is the way the NFL is. It's so important to find ways to win, and, and that's how you put together a great season is you know when you have these games that could go either way, you find a way to have it break your way. Um, and that's the way this league is. And so when we can find those inches, it, it can really change the tail of the season. So um, we're going to have more of those up ahead, and, and we're going to have to keep, uh, you know, as a whole team, finding ways to, uh, to make the plays to uh, get it done. And it wasn't just – I mean, it's Koo making the long extra point. It's, it's our defense standing up at the end too. And I've been a part of games where you go down and score, and then you walk out of here with a loss because you miss that extra point and you go to overtime or you – don't get the stop at the end. So it really does take everybody to uh, to find a way to come out of here with a win. And he really makes a great point. We watch games and we develop a sense thousands of miles away when it's going well and when it's not going well. And the teams that can take the moments when it doesn't feel like it's going well and twist that their way. And I feel like it started for the Falcons – when they went for it on fourth and four late in the third quarter, because I remember when it got to fourth and four, they're down a point at the time. I had the thought this would be an interesting spot to go for it, but they probably won't. They'll probably punt, and uh uh-oh, the offense is out on the field. They convert it. The next play, they score the touchdown, and that was the first moment I thought the Falcons can win this game. Now, it changed dramatically by the end of the fourth quarter, and they had to pull the rabbit out of the hat, but they wouldn't have even been in that spot if they mm-hmm. didn't execute in those two plays. And that was kind of the beginning of the, we're kind of not supposed to win this, but screw it. They let us hang around this long. We're going to go take it. That was the mini version of it. And then the big version of it came late in the fourth quarter. Exactly. And I think what you're saying, you just heard Kirk Cousins really describe of being in games and how it takes the whole team to really believe and know that you can still win that game. The good, the bad, how they're running the ball. At one point, it it just felt like Saquon Barkley and Jalen Hurst were picking up chunk yards on the ground every other play, and that could be deflating. But they just continue to build, continue to go down, try to make a play here and there. If you have to punt the balls in offense, hey, let's go believe in our defense. And I thought the biggest moment of that, of what he was talking about, is what he described, was with Koo. He gets on the field as a kicker, and I don't know, when I watch the NFL, I see all of these crazy celebrations, and they all kind of look the same. And maybe because this one was right in front of the official, he decides, hey, that's a gesture that I don't want to see. But as a fan... I've watched and seen that. I've seen that gesture before. So whatever it is, but you look, the Falcons don't budge. There's no, there's no craziness going on on the sideline, guys slamming helmets. Only thing you saw was Raheem Morris, rightfully so, was going after the official because he felt like, hey, you flagged us here, but C.J. Gardner-Johnson, you guys decided to pick up the flag because you said he didn't take his helmet off. But as I'm looking at the replay, I'm sure he felt like, well, he did kind of throw his helmet off, so he was ripping the official on that. But young way Kusa, said, you know what? That has nothing to do with me. The field goal team, that has nothing to do with us. We're going to go out there. We're going to protect. He's going to kick the ball through the uprights, and we're going to take the lead. And that, to me, is exactly what you explained. It's a team that says, hey, we're good. Let's just go do our job. Let's not worry about anything else. Go on, do what we need to do, and the rest will take care of itself. And you, I don't want to say you rarely see that, but you don't always see that in the NFL. Teams and players are impacted by what happened before or what might happen next. And then ultimately they screw up the biggest moment where they need to just execute. You don't always see that. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.